Will cortisone make things worse? There's no denying that cortisone reduces pain and swelling. Because of that, a lot of cortisone shots have been given to help people healing from joint injuries. But just because you get an immediate pain relief doesn't mean it helps your joint heal. A recent analysis of studies on thousands of individuals with joint pain, particularly tennis elbow, showed that cortisone shots did in fact reduce pain immediately. However, when they examined individuals six months later, they found that those with cortisone shots had a lower rate of full recovery and were 67% more likely to have a relapse of the injury. How is that possible? To understand it, you have to know more about cortisone. Cortisone. Cortisone is a corticosteroid hormone. It's produced naturally in the body via the adrenal cortex. If you're familiar with cortisol, aka the stress hormone, then it works very similarly. You see, when the body is in a stressful situation, this hormone is released. It works like this. You want to get sugar to your brain, the most important thing, right? So the hormone stimulates the breakdown of fat, protein, and carbs into usable energy in the blood. And that means your blood glucose levels rise. It also suppresses other activities that aren't vital in the immediate stressful situation, like the immune system. And that is the main role of the cortisone shot. It is an immune suppressant, or AKA an anti-inflammatory. So you can use it medically to cure problems with immune response, like asthma, rheumatoid diseases, Bell's palsy, spinal cord injuries, dermatologic conditions. Now here's the thing, cortisone is best used as a short-term solution. I mean, if you think about it, you don't want your body filled with stress hormones long term because there are side effects that we associate with having high stress levels. Namely, mood swings and sleep disturbances, hypoglycemia, decrease in the body's natural corticosteroid production, decreased bone density, fat atrophy, and wait, fat atrophy probably sounds pretty good, except when it occurs at the point of the cortisone injection. So in the end, there are some things that you would not use cortisone for, like rotator cuff disease, shoulder pain like adhesive capsule spinal injuries like cervical radiculopathy, knee osteoarthritis, and of course with that said, cortisone does seem to help with things like lumbar radiculopathy, plantar fasciitis, and Morton's neuroma. So there you have it, cortisone is not the cure-all treatment that it was once thought to be. Know though that while it helps with some things and can help in temporary pain relief, it might decrease long-term recovery. So if you're an athlete or someone with a random tendon issue, well, you want to think twice about getting cortisone. But that is what the doctors are for. <laughs> Let them help you decide if it's right for you. And of course, that's exactly what we did. We got all of this information from the expert, Dr. Hammett, here at Ortho Carolina. Now we have a whole bunch of these videos coming up. So make sure if you are a sports guru yourself, you click down there, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.